What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about keto, the keto diet, my, my take on the keto diet and what I, what I think about it. Um, to get started, I wanted to kind of put this out there that my idea of diets, let's, let's just go with it. If it works for you, I'm all for it. If, it. if it's working for you and it's getting the results you want, congratulations. But my thing about diets and kind of how I said this in one of my first videos was that I don't think diets work. I don't think diets are a thing. The thing about a diet is something that you say, I'm going on a diet. When you go on a diet, you can subsequently go off of a diet. And my biggest thing with diets with anything like Paleo, Atkins, the South Beach diet, all of these diets are exclusion diets. They restrict you from doing something or restrict you from eating something. Uh, and, and the keto diet is no different. It basically restricts you from having carbohydrates in your diet. So it's either restricting you or telling you you can only have a very, very small amount. I believe it's 10% of your daily caloric intake should only be um, from, from carbohydrates. 10% out of, you know, 100, obviously. 100. Uh, and I don't, I don't believe in uh, exclusionary diets. The, anything that says that restricts you from having something generally as a human being does not work. When someone tells you that you have restricted, we all know this, people are going to Area 51 to storm it because it's restricted access. But if you tell a human being that they're restricted from having this item, you think that's going to stop them or you think that's going to tell them, well, I, I, I want this. So anything that restricts you doesn't mean long-term. And when you're talking about fitness and you're talking about health and you're talking about nutrition, which is a, a appropriate term instead of dieting, when you're talking about nutrition, it's a, it's a lifelong thing. It's something that you, you know, you want to, you want this to last for the rest of your life down until you hit, you hit the grave. And you know, you're not always going to be perfect with your nutrition. You're going to, you're going to have missteps. But the problem is, is with keto and any of these other fad diets is they give you, they restrict you from being able to do or enjoy the foods that you want. And when you decide, or when you say, oh, I can't do this anymore, this, these restrictions are too much. Your body then goes into some sort of shock in which now you, 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 you screwed up your entire diet and you're like, oh, what did I do this for? Like I did all this work and I, I worked so hard to follow this diet and I messed up this one time and, and, and now I feel like I, I completely ruined everything. So restriction diets and exclusionary diets are not, me personally are not, the, are not the wave. If you are doing keto, if you're doing Atkins, if you're doing whatever diet you decided to go about and it's working for you, fantastic. But make sure that the diet you're doing is a lifestyle change, that you're going to stick with this forever that this is something you think you know what i can live my life without a single carbohydrate i'm happy for you because that's that's a big deal when i first started when i first started my weight loss journey i inad inadvertently was doing keto because i wasn't having much carbs in my diet i was eating chicken and turkey bacon and i would have a cup like a cup of broccoli but not much and that was pretty much it and then i would have toast in the morning um, but it was very 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 low on my on the carb intake when I saw that, you can see the difference, and this is what I looked like when I was doing the keto, and I was just having proteins and, and, and fats. <laughs> now, switch to a couple years later, and I started talking to my friends about dieting, and then like, hey man, how come I'm losing weight, but I'm not really building muscle? What, what can I do to do that? You know, intro introduce myself to carbs, and then this is what happens when I introduce myself to carbs. You see this picture here. <laughs> When I introduce myself to carbs and understanding that you can have the foods that you want, you can you can eat, you have a much more free lifestyle here. So the keto diet basically says that w without carbohydrates, your body's gonna go into ketosis, right? You're gonna start uh, producing ketones in your body, which means that you're, you're going to use the fat in your body for energy. This is the same thing that occurs. You can still get ketosis when you're doing intermittent fasting. My, my preferred method of losing weight is intermittent fasting because in my, in my, eating period, I can have the foods that I want. I don't have, to, I don't have restrictions. So there is, there's the big difference when you, when you're having, when you're doing keto, you're getting your ketosis from fat alone, no carbs. When you're doing um, intermittent fasting, you're getting your ketosis from no calories and just not eating and your body going into uh, ketosis. So you get the same results, but one of them is restricting you food and the other one is allowing you to eat in a shorter time period and you you are allowed to have more food that's to me i don't i don't i don't care if you're doing your the keto diet if it's working for you congratulations but make sure it's something that's going to work for you long term because if when the moment you say i don't want to do this anymore then you have to you have to tell your body that you're no longer going to to cut out carbohydrates altogether and you start introducing them back into your 
into your body, you're going to regain, you're going to increase, you're going to get water weight back because the, the glucose in your body is going to spike and the insulin in your body is going to spike and you start going to feel a little bit sluggish and whatnot because again, the insulin levels are going to spike. So I don't think that restriction diets are, are the best thing. But again, I mean, if it's, if it's working for you and remember, like when I'm talking about long term, I'm not talking about you did this for a year and you're doing this for two years. I'm talking about this is going to be the rest of your life. I'm 31 years old. I didn't want to say that out loud and I didn't want to put that out there, but I'm 31 years old and I started, I started dieting when I was about 22. And I've, do, I've done it the wrong way many times by doing restriction diets, by doing ex exclusionary diets and saying, well, I'm not gonna have bread, I'm not gonna have carbs, I'm not gonna have this, fruit has too much sugar in it, so I don't wanna have that. But you're, you're fooling yourself if you're thinking that these diets are, are anything but a fad. Because it's not something that you, you can keep up. People have tried the Paleo diet, where's that at? People have tried the Atkin diet, where's that at? People have tried the South Beach diet, where's that at? There's always something different. But the main rule, the main property of all of these diets are your calories in versus calories out. That's how you're losing weight. Sure, this the keto diet is give, is putting your body into ketosis, making you want to, making your body find those stores of fat and use that for energy. That is a benefit. I think keto, I think that ketosis property is an amazing factor, uh, but you can also get the ketosis factor from intermittent fasting and still have the foods that you want. So don't restrict yourself. I, I mean, if, if this is something that you can see yourself doing long-term, Go for it. Do do your thing. Like let this become a lifestyle change. Let it be that you're you're you can do this, but don't another thing, don't push this on to other people who are overweight. If someone's overweight, most of the time they gain they became overweight from from having a, a large amount of insulin in their body and, and glycose and carbohydrates and sugars and all the refined stuff that people that come along with gaining weight. But if you tell someone who's overweight, who's been eating refined carbs and who's been eating an excess of refined carbs their entire life to, hey, just do keto and just turn carbs off. That is a very dangerous precedent to, to just tell them, hey, you know, no more carbs, but you, they are going to lose the weight. They will lose weight fast when you, when you tell them to, to just completely cut out the carbohydrates in their life. They will completely cut it. But what do you think the odds are of them sticking with it when you tell them to completely restrict foods that you've been eating your entire life? Progress makes for a excellent motivator, so you will continue this, but for how long? For the rest of your life, for a year, for two years, for five years, are you gonna be able to, con to con consistently stay away from all carbohydrates for the rest of your life? All restrictionary diets have had the same results, and yes, any anything that's called a diet will effectively work, because that's they've been proven to work, and that's why they've earned the title a diet. You are, you are People will lose weight, but the, the main principle, or the main topic, or the main sprinkles are that they're calories in versus calories out you're restricting something so you're you're not getting calories from xyz and you're getting calories from abc you get what i'm saying so it's it's a it's a it's pretty it's pretty explanatory so i don't think that i don't think keto's bad i don't think keto's bad if it's working for you i support you 100,000 percent i just think any diet that that includes a restriction to a certain food group might not work in the long run so if you have something that you're trying to prepare for, if you got a wedding, wedding coming up, if you just wanted to lose weight fast and feel good about yourself, then go ahead. But you have to understand that restricting yourself may not be the best way. I mean, think about cavemen. They weren't just eating fats and meats and stuff like that. They were eating whatever the F they can get their hands on. For centuries, people have been eating bread and obesity is not directly linked to bread. It's what we're putting in excess of our bodies. So if you're having way too much of something, of course you're going to gain weight. Excess sugar, carbohydrates, excess saturated fats have led to, to high blood pressure and, and, and heart, heart diseases. So anything that you're eating in excess of can be dangerous. But when you're restricting something, you're going to, you're going to want that eventually. You're going to crave that at some point. Restricting yourself from something has never worked out for anyone. Um, that's why most of these fad diets have gone away. And another point that I want to touch on about uh, the keto diet is something that uh, I've seen happen recently where a lot of keto, a lot of people who are doing the keto diet kind of claim that all carbs are bad, that you shouldn't have carbs, and uh, that keto is the only way to lose weight. And that, that's something that, that aggravates me because that's not true. First of all, everybody's different. Everyone loses weight different. Everyone gains weight differently. Everyone digests food differently. Everyone's met metabolic rate is different. So to say, to, to push home that this is the only way to do something is irresponsible and I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Um, if it's working for you, fantastic. If you wanna give people advice and be like, hey, this has worked for me, you should try it, 
that's that's phenomenal. But but pushing it as the only way to do something and saying that all carbs are bad when you, you can't tell me that carb you can't tell me that carrots are bad. You can't tell me that that sweet potatoes are bad. You can't tell me that that apples are bad or 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 grapes are bad or any any single ingredient food that that, that those are bad. How? How do you do that? Because they're carbs and because carbs turn into glucose for energy. You have to think, you have to remember that there are, there are good carbs and there are bad carbs. Any carb that has been refined to, 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 to include sugar and to include all kinds of other anti-nutrients, yeah, no, so anything with sugar and, and sweetened and things of that nature, of course not, of course not. But single ingredient carbs have been around for centuries and obesity has not, so not all carbs are bad. But telling people that, you know, you shouldn't have carbs is nonsense. If, if this is something that's working for you, phenomenal but you're one person if you want to if you want to give someone tips fantastic do that but don't don't tell someone who's overweight and who's been eating carbs their entire life to say hey cut out carbs completely you'll be fine because that's dangerous that's first of all it's it's it, it if they're unhealthy and they have diabetes then that's probably something that's recommended by their doctor not someone who is not medically trained or or has any kind of degree in the medical field maybe shouldn't be telling people that but Whatever. I want to end this video by saying that I am not against the keto diet. I am not against fad diets. I think fad diets or diets in general will help you in the short term. If, if you have a short term goal and you're trying to get ready for a wedding or if you're trying to get ready for a party or a show and you just need to lose some weight and you wanted to try a fad diet, go for it. But you have to understand that these diets do not last. They will not take you into, into your five years from now or six years from now when, you know, you're not eating, you're, you've completely cut out. If, if you can do that, then Congratulations, that's amazing, you, you're a superstar. You're a superstar is what you are, that rhymed. You're a superstar. But I don't think, I, I personally don't think that it's something that it's, it's safe to, to restrict your body from certain nutrients forever, especially the macronutrients that, re, that have your body moving and get your body into, uh, to keep your body living, basically. Uh, I, just don't, I just don't think restricting foods is the answer. But if it's working for you and you and you feel like you can make this a lifestyle, you feel like you can take this with you to the future, above and beyond and all that jazz, go for it. Good for you, amazing. But please don't preach it as the one and only, uh, the answer to all dieting problems or nutrition problems or or the the, the savior of weight loss because that's that's fucked up. Come on, that's fucked up as hell because everyone knows there are multiple ways to lose weight and people have been doing it forever if it's working for you great but there are multiple other ways again like i mentioned before the whole idea of the keto diet is to push your body into a ketosis state in which you start to use fat for fuel can also be obtained by intermittent fasting and there's no restriction there you are just changing the time frames in which you eat but you can still have carbs so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with intermittent fasting because it's dope and it's working. But um, if you stayed to the end of this video, thank you guys so much. Uh, smash the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment, leave your phone number, call my mom, tell her I love her. Thank you. I don't. Bye.